Yeah. Um, as as you know, it is a very very complex uh, fortnight, and yeah, uh, we had to wait for the players to come to training in troops and reps, and yeah, the performance you know this uh, this evening was was quite amazing from the boys. We didn't expect that. The fact that uh, we did not, you know, prepare thoroughly, that we would have loved, you know, as a team to, to prepare the team like we usually do. But yeah, you know, everything happened for a reason. And yeah, we thank, uh, you know, God for giving the boys the strength, technical, technical stuff, the strength, considering, considering where we come from. So yeah, in today's game, I think we, we did well, you know, first half was the... We still managed the game, the energy levels were still high. And uh, you could see second half, uh, we couldn't keep the ball, you know, like as much as we would have liked to, you know, to keep the ball, uh, simply because now we were getting tired and we had to now force, you know, some of the players to launch it into the space and uh, create those one v one situation to create, uh, you know, goal scoring, uh, scoring opportunities. And uh, it worked perfectly, uh, you know, for the team. We managed to, get the second call from, from that moment of creating those boundaries. Thank you very much, uh, Coach. Uh, we're going straight to members of the media, uh, straight to the question, and the uh, Coach will do the answer in Karabo. Kick off. Thank you once again, Coach. Congratulations, uh, Coach, and uh, good evening to you and my colleagues as well. Coach, uh, just a quick one on uh, Amshini Nobo. He's a player that you know very much. Uh, he assisted and he scored today. Uh, he made 23 appearances last season starting. Uh, this season he started three. He's uh, come on three as a sub. Is it a question of you trusting him more than the head coach does? What's the situation? Why doesn't Norbo start more games as he should be with the talent that he's got? Thank you. Uh, look, uh, you know, you know, sometimes in football, more especially when we come from a season that was very, very tough for us, you know, playing Champions League, and also playing you know, the domestic league and playing cup games at the same time. So they had him and Javulo and many other you know, youngsters who played a lot of games. And uh, you could see them, you know, uh, you know, uh, dropping a little bit uh, in terms of, you know, having fatigue, you know, here and there. And uh, we had to manage him. And uh, we can see now he's coming back, you know, he's alive again. And we're happy to see him, you know, especially in this game today you know, uh, showcasing his talent and performing like he did. Thank you, Coach Fidel. Thank you, Vina. Uh, congratulations, Coach. Uh, today, you were very, you were very patient with the, with the ball. Like, you, you literally controlled the, the whole first half. You spread the ball from side to side. Was that the plan going into this match? Uh, thank you. Yes, it has always been uh, the plan for us, you know, to keep the position because we're a big team. We need to dominate, you know, in, in all departments. Uh, we need to be able to keep the ball and attack at the right time. So, and we knew also that uh, the key thing for us was to, to manage the game because the minute you try to play the ball forward, you know, it, it comes back very, very, very quick. And uh, the chances are now we're going to start chasing the game. And when you chase the game, you get tired. And uh, when it comes to, you know, uh, physical capacity, they were obviously ahead of us because they've been trained, you know, and playing games. So with us, you know, uh, we had players who were like maybe 20% fit, you know, for this game and we had to manage them. Thank you, Coach. Let's go to David. Evening, Coach. It's um, David from Ediski Times. Congrats on the on the three points and the difficult circumstances. Um, I just wanted to find out. Um, obviously, you are on the sideline, and Stuart Baxter is not. You know, how is he doing? And um, was he in contact with you before the game? You know, when when you spoke about the starting lineup and things like that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, David. Uh, look, uh, we have a technical staff. We work together. And unfortunately, because Stuart uh, is recovering at home at the moment, as you know, that all of us, you know, we're all you know, at home at some point you know, uh, in isolation. And uh, fortunately, some of us, we came before the coach came back. I mean, uh, come back. So 
yeah, uh, we, we, we discuss, uh, we've been preparing the team and we discuss all of us, you know, because we are a team uh, of technical staff members. Thank you, Coach uh, Sponks. Uh, good evening, Coach. Good evening, colleagues. Um, Arthur, um, with this week that you'll have until your next game, does it make things easier in terms of the other players coming back and making the job a little easier in the more regular players? Um, do you have that information who will be coming back in during this time until the next game? Thank you. Yeah. Unfortunately, we won't be able to have everybody back and fully fit and ready for the you know, next coming game. Uh, because, uh, you know, certain players, when they come back, they still have to, you know, uh, go for tests and, and, and then start maybe doing uh, some physical work before they can join the rest of the boys. And as you could see, even today, uh, we, we risked Pato, and uh, you could see he was actually, he was, he was, you know, breathing you know, heavily. At some at some point, he was coughing, and but uh, we had no choice because uh, uh, we we wanted to consolidate. Uh, we needed him in the and Javulo Plum had already you know uh, been cramping, and we would have loved to to bring in one of the younger boys from the development in the reserve team, but uh, you know at some point uh, we didn't want to just throw them into the deep end. We thought that we had enough young, young players already on the field when we have the Sukhotas, the Jabulos, and uh, Siangas. And I think today we, we played about seven boys in, uh, who were young, so which is good for the team and for the future of this team. So, yeah, uh, we had to try and manage the game more than anything else. Thank you, Coach. We'll take the last three questions. We'll start with Nachi, uh, who has been... What a chance is not here, I think. Yes, uh, thank you so much, and uh, congratulations, Coach. I just wanted just your comment on Nange scoring. I think this is his first uh, official goal for Kaiser Chiefs. Just your comment uh, on that, and what and what does it do to him? Yeah, look, we, we happy for him. You know, hopefully that will boost uh, that goal will boost his confidence. You know? uh for him to have more hunger to you know to score, to score more goals uh look when we brought him in we we told him that listen uh we want you to attack more because we have enough you know uh defensive players we can easily form a, you know a, a good block at the back there so don't worry much about defending yes when you use the ball just drop a little bit you know just to add numbers for us to have enough you know bodies to defend but as soon as we get the ball to support the, Obviously, we now we want to we wanted to isolate, you know, uh, uh, the the their full back on the right so that Scott, uh, you know, can expose him and get the cutbacks or maybe it would cross his there. And uh, yeah, it happened exactly like that. Uh, even the goal that we scored uh, that was scored by Nangi he came from that situation. So yeah, we are happy for him and uh, unfortunately uh, he's been battling, but yeah, well, we just hope that this will boost uh, you know his confidence. Uh, for the upcoming games. Thank you, Coach. Uh, the last two will go to we'll start with Fida. Thank you, Vina. Uh, Coach, how proud are you of this team, you know, to have such a convincing win without your regular starters like Dolly and Billiard? Does it give you confidence in the depth that you have in your squad going to, to the rest of the season? Thank you. Yes, uh, thank you, thank you, sir. Thanks for the question. Uh, look, uh, a, a team of Kaiser Chiefs, we, we need to have you know, all the players that can be able to go out there and compete when they're given the opportunity you know, to, to play for the team. And yes, we are definitely proud of them that uh, you know they went in there and gave their best and they managed, you know, they might also manage to, to grind the results, and which is something that will also help them you know going forward to start believing in themselves even more so yeah we are proud of them and credit to them as well because it was it was never going to be easy you know and playing against a team that's got you know hard runners and you always you know pose the you know that challenge uh, in terms of you know physicality but uh look they responded you know very very well and they're still like shocked that you know they performed the way they did because you know, it was difficult in training players which are suffering, you know. So, but yeah, 
we are proud of them and let's hope you know they can they can build up they can build on for me thank you thank you very much and tatavina thank you uh, uh coach once again i had a glance at your bench uh a lot of people probably do not know him what a player a bag full of trickery short pacey as well very good in terms of his delivery he's got a lot to learn obviously in the first team are we likely to see him with some matches for the first team this season because i think you know him more than i do absolutely skillful are, are we going to see him before the end of the season in the first team thank you yeah. uh, thank you thanks for the question uh, look we are working towards that and uh, to be quite honest uh, it's just that we had already made five uh, five substitutions that time when we scored the second goal and had we scored the second goal maybe had more you know opportunity to 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 maybe bring in another player definitely we were going to go for for Ndubuzi. and we we had that in mind that uh, we want to take the game to them and Ndubuzi uh, can you know can give us that extra you know uh offensive uh one one situation he was is very good is at, at that you know so as a youngster and we, we really wanted to give him the opportunity today but unfortunately uh because of the players getting tired and we want to also throw him into the deep end as I've alluded earlier on. 